Hey guys, the bag of empties is there. This is what's inside of it. Today we're going to go through it. This is my November empties and inventory update video. Before we empty this out, these are my additions for this month. Not a lot going on. I did some Christmas shopping at Guerlain and you guys know I'm a massive fan anyway, but how beautiful is this packaging? Um, wait, I'll see if I can take this out without... Yeah, I can. How beautiful is that? This is a Christmas present for my grandmother. So let me pop that back in the bag. The lovely sales associate at Guerlain also gave me one of these Christmas cards to put in with it. Guerlain wishes you an enchanting 2023. Um, but yeah, so it stands up like that. And you've got like the little bee there. But anyway, this video is not about that, but basically I was doing some Christmas shopping and I was chatting away to the sales associate. We've always got good chat and he gave me a couple of samples while I was there. So this is what is going on to my inventory for this month. So I've got five $1 each samples. They're just like little samples like that. So I've counted them as a dollar each. So that's five dollars and a quantity of five added to my perfume inventory. And then he gave me some samples of their foundation. So he gave me shade 00N and 01N. So I've added two foundations on. I've just counted these as being worth five dollars each because I don't know how many mils or anything there are. I'm actually hoping to get these out before the end of the year, like in and out within in, in the month of November, um, but out in the month of December. So hopefully we'll get these out and he also gave me a little sample of this is the sort of multi-purpose gel from the christmas collection from Guerlain this year i think basically they didn't get any stock of it into actually selling fraser's so he got a tester in but no stock so he decanted a little bit of the tester for me so that i could have a play with it pop that again in my makeup inventory but under the category of other i've added in that and again i've just called it five dollars in total these are my additions, so $20 in total added on, 15 to make up, 5 to perfume and 8 items quantity wise added on, 3 to make up and 5 to perfume. So that is the update for anything going on to the inventory this month, so not a lot there. And let's get into what we actually can take off. To just check in where we are before we start, so far this year I have used up 228 products. I'm aiming to use 300 by the end of the year, so I'm hoping that November will take me to 250, leaving me 50 to use in December. So ideally, there will be 22 products in here, or more. Wouldn't complain if it was more, but hopefully 22 to get me to the 250. Fingers crossed. Right, let's see what we've got. Makeup is a very neat quantity of three in, quantity of three out, and the value is more as well. So I've taken out a value of $46. The little Dior Mini is worth $11. The Soap and Glory Mascara was worth $14. And the Subversion Lash Primer from Urban Decay was worth $21. Nothing much to say. Don't think I'd rush to repurchase any of these products. They weren't terrible. They just weren't anything outstanding either. And I'm glad that they are finished and giving me three products towards my goal of 22 products to be in this empties. Perfume is also pretty neat quantity-wise. Five in, five out. These samples I've counted as being worth five dollars each and these at one each. So it's 13 out. The Zara samples were absolutely fine. It was like a thing that you tore off and just pressed against your skin. So I can't really comment too much, but they were all very pleasant if you like a sort of leather clean fragrance. I liked all three of them. Then in terms of these two, I talked about these in my beauty haul so I won't go on too much. The Shalimar Tonka, that's limited edition Shalimar Flanker for this year. I have got that for Christmas because I loved it so so much. And then also from Guerlain Oud Nude which I absolutely loved. This as far as I'm aware is not limited edition, it's just a new addition to the lineup. So definitely one that I might make a future purchase of at some point but this is one that I got the full size of for Christmas because it is limited so both of these I really really enjoyed. Five perfumes plus the three makeup items gives us eight empties so far. So I've actually just had to add on this little sample. I didn't realise until I went to take it off that it actually wasn't on my inventory so I have to add this into my additions but obviously 
it's come in and come straight back off a little sachet sample of a Philip Kingsley cleanser then I have finished my Amika detangling primer this smelled so beautiful I absolutely loved it just for the smell alone it also did an absolutely fine job at detangling before I would blow dry my hair I have loads of detangling I feel like that's the sort of thing we get in beauty boxes probably I imagine there may well be one in that advent calendar I feel like you get them in gifts with purchases etc because I feel like it's one of those very neutral products it's quite easy to give out because I feel like I don't really buy this kind of product but I have quite a number so I won't be rushing to repurchase it or anything like that I don't need a replacement but the smell of this was beautiful then I finished my dry bar hot toddy if you watch my beauty haul you know already I repurchased that hot toddy if you've not come across it before it's a heat protectant mist for use on dry hair I wash my hair maybe once a week and I think a lot of heat protectant products are designed for putting into your hair when it's wet then blow drying in. This one is one of the only ones that I've come across that is for dry hair. It doesn't weigh my hair down but because I am dry styling with my curling tong or whatever usually I just quite like the idea that I've topped it up from whatever I've used when I've blow dried it you know which could be up to a week ago depending on where we are in the week versus my washing schedule so I really really rate this product and had repurchased it when I knew this one was coming to its end so really really enjoy that and then the fourth product that I finished is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finishing Spray so this is a texture spray I do quite like the texture that this gives I feel like it doesn't give a lot of hold if I spray this in I feel like I need to then lock it in with hairspray on top of it so it is very much something that adds texture but doesn't seem to have its own grip I feel like there's other ones that I've got that have enough grip of their own that they keep the texture in without needing to be hairsprayed in so I probably won't repurchase this one but I've liked it enough that I haven't decluttered it or anything, I have finished it, it's been fine, I just wouldn't rush to repurchase it. So in total my four hair care empties are worth $68 and obviously another four towards my total for the quantity goal. Last but never least is skincare. I've had a repeat of the sachet incident, obviously sachets have been slipping in and I haven't been recording them on my inventory so I had to add this one in so that's an addition of one and I just count these as a dollar so only a value of one but these are my empties now I have 12 empties there are only 11 here because one of them is my bath bomb you saw me use that in my Manchester vlog so obviously it has disintegrated I don't have it to show you but it has been used so a quantity of 12 even though there's only 11 items here in terms of what is here I don't think I've got massive amounts to say about anything so the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma, I talked about that in the whole video when I added it in. Obviously it's just a little sample but I have had the full size of that product before and I really liked it but I didn't realise until I stopped using it, it seemed to be staining my skin orange. It was like actually changing the colour of my skin so just something to be aware of. You might not notice it unless you're super super pale like me but there was a foundation that I was using for a while when I had the full size of this product that I was like oh this is a really good match for me. I really really like this. It was the Dior Nude number one. It'll be next month's empties. It's just a little sample and I thought it was a really good colour match and then as soon as I stopped using this product the next time I went to use that foundation I was like this is not right at all. Not really heard anyone else saying that but that's definitely was a thing for me. The Drunk Elephant Sea Firma definitely stained my skin. I've used up three moisturisers and I'm really excited because if you look at my moisturisers now, so I still have 10 which is still quite a lot to have to work through and whatever and I have absolutely pushed my samples this year which was what I wanted to do. That was why I did a quantity driven goal. So I've got 10 left and most of these are now full sized but I am so, so pleased. I feel like 10 is such a manageable number in comparison to when I started with that. But I actually didn't use any of the three of these on my face. So the top one is this L'Occitane Precious Cream. To be fair, I have had that for so long. It was probably expired or whatever, but I it made my face quite itchy. So I ended up, I just used that on my body. Um, and then the same for these two from Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Deep Moisture Balm. A little bit too heavy for my oily face, but absolutely brilliant for feet and elbows. Use them up that way. The Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream I also used on my feet. Again, very excited about this because this takes me down. Now that I've used this up, I have got one glycolic peel for my feet and I've got one foot cream. So I've only got two products in my foot care inventory. Super, super happy with that. I did really enjoy this, the Estee Lauder. 
Advanced Night Repair, that was an under eye mask. So I've used up two of these under eye masks this month. I tend to keep these for sort of special occasions and ration them a little bit, but I do very much enjoy them when I do use them. So would recommend that if you've got a special occasion coming up. And yeah, I think that was about it. So that adds another 12 items to my total. Altogether, my skin kit empties are worth $79.19. In terms of values, my inventory has increased by $22 made up of $15 across makeup, $1 on skincare, $1 in hair care, and $5 of perfume being added on. Then I have used up $206.19 worth of product. So that is $46 of makeup, $79.19 skincare, $68 of hair care, and $13 of perfume. But the important numbers for this year's goal, quantity. So we added on a quantity of 10, so three makeup items, one skincare sachet, one hair care sachet and five perfume samples. And I have managed to use a total of 24 items. So three makeup items, 12 skincare items, four hair care items and five perfume samples. Which takes my total so far for the year to 252 items used. So that gives me the month of December to try and use up 48 products. It's a lot of products but I think if I'm tactical about it, I'll be able to do it. I've got perfume samples I can definitely use. Could probably hit about 10 from perfume samples alone. So a lot of it will come from that. I've got sample foundations to use. So I'm going to try and concentrate on knocking them out. My skincare, definitely I'm using a lot of skincare minis at the moment. As you know if you watched my haul video. So I am... Um, I think it'll, it'll definitely be like a rush to be like... And I'll need to be tactical about it. But I'm hoping I can use my 300 items. Like I'm, I'm still feeling like it's possible. So that is where we are now that November's figures have been done. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do remember I'm uploading extra videos throughout the month of December in the countdown to Christmas so do check back regularly. Thank you for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye!